I'm Elsie B from elsiebsmith.com. There are seven things that you need to know about self-awareness. Let's look at the first one. How do you recognize someone who lacks self-awareness? This person is like a bull in a china shop. They have no care for other people. They only care about themselves. Or, on the other extreme, they are a martyr with too much care for others. They always point fingers elsewhere. They're always looking for somebody to blame. They don't take responsibility. When things happen to them, they have knee-jerk emotions. They love prejudice. They love being self-righteous. That is the kind of person who lacks self-awareness. Now, the second thing is, what does self-awareness not mean? Self-awareness doesn't mean being shy and hiding away. At the other extreme, self-awareness also does not mean being arrogant and in your face. Let's look at the opposites of self-awareness. Is self-awareness the same as self-realization or self-actualization? No. Self-actualization is about expanding your life and your vision and discovering more talents. That's where you do what you can, and you always, always try new things. That's self-actualization. Self-awareness, on the other hand, is about understanding eternal life, and that this life is just a speck in eternal life. You have a purpose, and you need to work for the benefit of humanity. Is self-awareness the same as self-esteem? Self-esteem is being sure of the approval of others, or being dependent on the approval of others. But self-awareness, on the other hand, is not worrying about the approval of others. It's not being arrogant, but it's more about having a deep sense of knowing that you are an image of God and God did not make mistakes. When you are self-aware, you feel only love for others. Is self-awareness the same as emotional intelligence? Also not quite. Emotional intelligence is about understanding your emotional triggers and about using emotions appropriately. For example, you can use anger to build up or you can use anger to break down. That's your choice. Self-awareness, on the other hand, is about understanding that emotions are purely energy in motion at the lower level. And once you rise above that emotion, The picture looks different and you have no need for emotion. So how will we define self-awareness? I like to define self-awareness as being the best version of you, regardless of other people. It's not about being competitive, but rather about accepting your own faults, firstly, and then working on eliminating each one of these faults, so that today you are a better person than you were yesterday. Self-awareness is about understanding your place in the universe, not just on earth. So, what are the benefits of self-awareness? How does self-awareness help you as an individual? Well, firstly, there are far less things that impact on you and require emotions. You always find better ways to spend your energy. You have a sense of peace. You have confidence to do anything that your heart guides you to do. Self-awareness comes from questioning yourself and observing yourself. You need to observe how people respond to you and ask, is that the response that you feel comfortable with? If not, you need to change how you respond to people and then see how they respond to you. And again, ask yourself, is that the response that you feel comfortable with? And keep doing that until you are satisfied, until you accept, until you understand that this is what self-awareness is. How can you improve your self-awareness? Learn to know yourself. Be aware of those strong emotions. What is behind them? What is it about these triggers for these emotions that are important? And what do you need to change? Be aware of your friends. Why are they your friends? Some people are your friends because they have something to contribute to your life and they are beautiful spirits and you resonate with them. Other people are your friends because they know how much and what they can get out of you and that is their focus. So be willing to question yourself and your actions. 
not only in terms of friendship, but also in terms of prejudice. Do you have friends because you, you harbor any prejudice? Get rid of that prejudice. Understand that it is important to love people regardless of who they are. A really important aspect of self-awareness is to learn to say no and understand that you are not your body. You inhabit your body. Now here's a powerful, powerful exercise for you to do. Let's call it the I am exercise. I'll give you an example. I'm going to say two things about myself that are absolutely true. And I want you to find your own two things and say the two things about yourself that are absolutely true. For example, I am a woman. I am a writer. Both of those things are true about me. Now say your two things and feel how you feel while you're saying that. Now here's the powerful part of this exercise. What I would like you to do next is to simply say, I am. Feel how different that feels when you simply say, I am. The moment when you distinguish that difference, you know that you have self-awareness. Please like and share this video and subscribe to the video. Also look underneath this video for links to products that I have on the market. Namaste.